My name is Richard Celeste. I'm the uh, recorder and interviewer. And I have Mrs. Uh, Frances Berlinski from uh, uh, Gearlock Road. Road. Okay. Who has some memories about the Erie Canal in that area of New York State. And uh, we were already talking about the bridge over the canal. Maybe you can tell me some more. You, were, you can go over again what you, you said. You just want to know about your life. Yeah, right. Oh, I see. Well, I, uh, when I moved, when we were born, when we were twins, uh -huh. we moved into the Irlock Road, along the, well, there used to be the Lyle Road, uh -huh. and now they need the Irlock Road, and this is right here. Okay. And, uh, that was about, like, well, the intersection of what it is today, Horan Road, Road and uh, Gearlock Road. Road. Mm -hmm. And you were on the side uh, the Road. closer to the fair, not the other side, right? That's right. Okay, Going towards south. Right. And, uh, of course, we lived there. I lived there all, practically all my life. I was only there a few, was only a few months old when I moved there. What, about what year would that be? What, 1910. Oh. About 1911 we moved there. Oh. Because, uh, we moved in the March, March uh -huh. or April, I'm not sure, but it was about 1911. Uh -huh. And uh, my sister and I, of course, it was a big family yeah. at that time. And uh, my father built that, our house there. And this used to be the, we used to go to a store here, this is the Crown store. Oh, I see. And the store was located on the canal bank, right across from the, the lock. It's a double lock. There's a lot. Uh -huh. There's a lot. Okay. And the, the boats used to come in from the city and co go one way or either way. Sure. Yeah. And then they'd come, uh, then they'd go right, the, lo the water would, uh, they drink the water mm -hmm. and go towards the aisle. Oh, I see. And that was a grocery store, you said? This was a grocery store. Uh -huh. It was a general store. Uh -huh. Everything. Oh, uh, it had grain, and they had ice here, mm -hmm. uh, a nice house. And uh, they had a saloon downstairs, uh, uh, and they lived on the third floor from from the road part. Uh -huh. This would be from the canal part would be the second floor, mm -hmm. and uh, they lived on the third floor. And the main floor would be the store, and they uh, had groceries, they had kerosene, they sold shoes, uh, uh, meat, mm -hmm. vegetables, candy, everything. Uh, everything was in that store. Besides, like I said, right here was the green. The uh -huh. feed store they used to call it. And right here would be the ice house. Uh -huh. They used to take the ice from over here in Me? the wintertime. To where now? Right to this place here. Uh, the store. To the store, but. Uh, See, on the side of the rock, so okay. a projection comes out like right. that. And yeah, just a little, in front of this cursed mm -hmm. tree, the willow tree, mm -hmm. was a great big willow tree. Oh, okay. And in front of the tree, then men would come and cut the ice. And they bring it into the uh, ice house here from oh. the store, and they put sawdust around uh -huh. it. And uh, then on this this side, uh, right in between here, would be stairs. You could go downstairs to the livery. We see had horses and uh, wagons, the Sunday wagon and the regular wagon. And uh, then people would come along the Dahlia Road or Gearlock Road. Uh, it was Dahlia Road. Some might would call it Dahlia Road at the time. And uh, in this building here where they had the feet store, they had an opening. It was like uh, uh, a slide, a shoot the shoot used to call it. Oh, really? And they'd go in the store, they put the, the bags of grain there, and the people uh, would come with their hearts and wagon, would go under that shoot the shoot, and would fall right into the wagon. Oh, wow. And uh, that's how all of the people used to come in. In them days, they, they had horses, so uh, very well, so cars, but was later on, right. the cars came. But in the meantime, they needed a feed. So they come there, and, and right next to this, below the, these stairs here, was a saloon. Uh -huh. And you'd come in to the saloon, and people would go honey and all. And this woman, she got, she was in the store, mm -hmm. and she was right above the candy cane. Mm -hmm. She got shot in the eye from the uh, gun, shot, went off from the saloon, went right through the ceiling of the saloon, and to the floor, through the floor of the store, right into her eye. Ooh. And we were going by, of course, in some days, we had an ambulance moved by a person wagon. Right. And we saw this ambulance, my sister and I, 
and uh, there's no something happened, and there was this woman that got shot in the eye. Was well, this when you were? Uh, we were children. children. Yeah, oh. I, do, I remember that. Wow. And uh, and then my mother decided to take us down to the city to visit our sister. Mm -hmm. So my mother and my sister Julia and my sister, my twin sister Agnes would come over here. Now this would be the other part of the lot. See, that would be okay. from the front of Radford's house. The whose house? Radford. Radford? Radford? Yeah, they used to have, now it's, uh, it's torn down. Oh, but, uh, they had this house here, and, I'm just, uh, and so you come down the bank here, and you uh, come over here, and you get on this boat. Uh -huh. and, this, and that boat would be this boat here, like uh, it had windows in. You know what the boat on Syracuse, on the other lake? All right, it's like a passenger it's boat? It's a passenger so? boat, yeah. yeah. And I, so my sister and I, we sat in the seat. I had a sailor hat, you know, uh -huh. the visor oh, yeah. and the ribbon on. And I put my head off the window, uh -huh. and then my hat just went sailing right in, uh -huh. and it went right into another window. I was crying. I thought I lost my new hat. Uh -huh. And uh, it sailed uh -huh. into the window, uh -huh. and these people stood and uh, saved it. And then when we got to the city, and this bridge here, they raised the bridge. We got off the boat, and they raised this bridge. And we went to the physical see? Oh, I see. And, uh, and then they raised us right on Salina Street, they uh -huh. raised the boat, and we crossed over, we went to my sister. She lived uh -huh. in the city. Okay. I forgot what street yeah. was. They changed the street right. name. So that was one experience that I had. Was it the bridge, um, uh, the Genesee it, Street Bridge you were talking about? No, it raised? would be the South uh, Salina Street. Oh, Salina Street. Yeah, this one, it would be a bridge. Maybe that one? Like, similar to that because the bridge was right as the boat came into the okay. city, right in the heart of the city, oh, okay. um, where the um, statues are now. Okay. And, uh, uh, and by the, Clinton Square oh, in that that's area? right. Okay. And we went off the boat, okay. off the boat over the bridge right. and uh, we went downtown. Oh. And uh, I don't remember coming home. But the reason why I remember that was on the come I knew that. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't remember how we came home from that. You that tend to remember things from experiences like happened. that. You yeah. Know, something happens to yeah. you like that. Right. Yeah. And uh, so, and then I remember when the soldiers, 1917. Oh, World War One. World War One right. soldiers used to be on Featherbridge Hill, mm -hmm. and part of the uh, state fairground. Okay. They were stationed there, and every morning they come to over the railroad track on Hard Road uh -huh. that was be the track mm -hmm. there, and turn right towards the Bell Isle. They come to the crossroads where we live, right. and then they turn right <coughs> and go to Bell Isle, and it always, you know, how the soldiers go one, two, three, four, and right. like that. And uh, after they get through marching, mm -hmm. then they come over to the willow tree, the big willow tree. Oh, that I you mentioned, mentioned over here by yeah. the lot. Yeah. yeah. Then they come over there, and they put their guns like a tripod, you know, like oh, right. that, and they direct. Of course, they couldn't go to the saloon. They were in the lot. Oh, I see. But they could rest under that tree. We feel well, quite a few uh, men would be marching there. And uh, I mean, marching right. on the road and going through. And then I used to see them on the, uh, the passenger boat going by uh -huh. on the canal. Oh. And they'd be, the women would be sitting on top of the top here. On uh, top of the boat? Yeah. yeah. And uh, so uh, I remember that part. And then there was a a tugboat used to come every night, and you, you don't know where I live, do you? I know where you live. Yeah. You can explain well, me. Right in front of our house, right. the boat, tugboat would come into the canal uh -huh. there and put the rope around the pole, okay. the sharp pole they had, tie it wide around uh -huh. it, and uh, they'd always empty up their ashes there. We thought we used to call them the Charlie boat because we'd come around 4 or 5 o'clock in between there, and we'd always wait for that. Tugboat because oh, really? it's so cute. Oh. It's, uh, the, it's, you could see the tugboats and uh -huh. now and the right and the pictures of the people. That's what they were. And uh, so we uh, we really enjoyed living there. We still do. When you mentioned about the soldiers around 1917, mm -hmm. that's right about the time when the Erie Canal was being was dis going, discontinued. Was, you know. uh, going down. Right. Uh -huh. They had opened the barge canal. Yeah. But I don't know if it's true that every section of it was was uh, closed down. Maybe this area this wasn't closed right away. This area wasn't closed until uh, later, after the soldiers yeah. were gone. Because I think they filled in the canal downtown in 
the early 20s, I think it was. I'm, I, I'm not sure, yeah. but I think it was about that time. Yeah. Because uh, I wasn't familiar with the city. Right. Yeah. So um, at the time, I only it was a, an experience for us uh -huh. to go down city at then. But um, the closest were here. They used to uh, walk the canal bank. They were, uh, you know, they were like lost because this all happened that they were pushed into the war. Right. And um, so they used to come up to our house and, and there was a, a fellow there, he was Polish. He came from, uh, his parents came from Poland and knew my father and uh, they lived in Connecticut. Mm -hmm. And uh, he came, he used to come and visit with my father and uh, the day he was leaving, see my father was a, um, a flag man at the Street. A what? A flag man. What's that? He had the sign, stop sign, for the city. Trains would go through the city. Right. He would stop the traffic. It was on uh, Florida and uh, Washington Street. Okay. But, and uh, so when the soldiers were leaving on the train, the heart of the city, um, and when the soldiers were leaving, he was on the train, the soldier, and he threw my father a ring. It was a silver ring, oh. and my brother has it now. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, now, what's your brother's name? Joseph. Joseph Goleski. Goleski? Yeah, we, they, he changed because everybody was calling him Sharp Joseph Goleski, and there was Joseph Goleski. Your father's name was also Joseph? My father's name was John. Oh, My father yeah. was John Fish. They named him where he worked. He didn't know how to tell him that, how to oh. call it. So he, did, he was known as John Fish. So then, and, uh, so he was on, he flagged the last train uh -huh. going out of the, going to the station. And then he got his, his uh, stop sign and flag, whatever, and took it back to the uh, road. That was when the new uh, station started, 1937, which right. was September. Right. So my father flagged that train, and like I said, mm -hmm. uh, he got this um, uh, silver ring, uh -huh. and he gave it to my brother. Oh, wow. But he was this fellow, this uh, soldier was only a young fellow, but I remember, because he was crying. See, he was supposed to be leaving. And uh, he used to come up to my, uh, come up to the house, and then, and uh, at least my, my parents tried to do the best they could to make sure. it feel like home. They, so they were very friendly. Do you have any mementos of the Erie Canal around there, like any souvenirs related to uh, the canal? No, no, no. Other than you maybe pictures like this? Well, we have pictures. Yeah. I have snapshots right. of the lock, mm -hmm. a part of the lock, mm -hmm. and then, oh, I'm, I'll show you this picture. This is a picture of the lock, but this was years afterwards. Mm -hmm. I don't know what year she took. This was taken by oh, this yeah. girl from David to us. Oh, and yes. see, now this is practically the model. I know, a lot of it is gone mm -hmm. now. I don't know why, but probably possibly. Instead of filling the, the lock, they took it and uh, broke it all up. Is it, for, for some reason, now, we all, see these stones here right. on the top here, they took and dug them out and threw them inside, the, inside in between the lock. And they're there now. But there is still part of the oh, lock, yeah. uh, the, the middle uh -huh. chamber. Well, Mr. Oh. Beebe came to see the lock. Mm -hmm. He's very interested, and I right. think they're going to do something about it. Right. And he's going to find it, pull them out. And then there's a, 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 a man that used to work there. He took some of these stones. He lived in Fairfield. I don't know where he is now, just some time ago. And uh, so these stones, these flat stones are all numbers. So he can find oh. them. He can go get them. The numbers are on the stones? Mm -hmm. And these flat stones, they're yeah. like uh, blocks, you know, square blocks. Oh, well, because I never noticed numbers. Haven't you been to the lab? I haven't noticed any numbers, on, unless they're underneath. They say there's numbers. I was told there were numbers. But the um, man that was uh, doing the mm -hmm. job there, he must have told my brother law and my brother law was telling us. So, uh, so this is, here's where we got on the boat, right oh, here. Okay. And, and right here was a, like a landing here, too, where they would, uh, and then there's stairs over here All that right. they could come up to the top. Now, where was the lock tender's house in relation to The lock tender's house was over here. Where that picture? Oh, this one here? Yeah, see? Oh, there it is. Yeah, there's the lock tender's okay. house across from the store. It would be way over here, right here, see, in the okay. picture. 
this is taken by some people that uh, they took this a long time ago. So let me ask you, that, that store would be between where your lock road is and the, and the lock? And the canal, right, right in front of the locks, right in okay. front of the, uh, the, the, the lock tender's house. I wonder if there's any foundations remaining on the store, like buried in the grass or... Well, uh, there's stairs. The stairs are still mm -hmm. there? There's stairs, and I think part of the wall, you know, where it's like, where is that? Uh, the uh, part of the wall would be where the ice house would be or something. Okay. There might be there. Now, yeah. I don't it's been since 1920, I think, uh, the store. Let's see, I think I remember So Mr. Beebe knows where all these... Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Okay. He's, he's been there and uh, he's been um, diving into the water and all. Was the lock tender's house standing when you were a child? Oh, yeah. How long was that there? A long time. I have not. Well, see, we weren't that interested in yeah. growing up. But uh, the lock tender's house belonged to, uh, was quite a uh, few years and uh, it was right next to the lock tender's house. Yeah. And uh, they turned around and they demolished it. I guess they threw it in the canal. Uh, and uh, some Mr. Beebe and Mrs. Beebe called me up and asked me if they could come and look at it. And I said, oh, yeah, I'd like to look at it. And they took us to the lock tender's house. And uh, they built this uh, lock tender's house. There's one in uh, Amboy. I know, I've seen and it. You've seen at, it? It's at the uh, Camilla's at the Camilla Sims store, Sims store uh, right next to it. Right. Well, he built that, and he used to call me up and ask me which way the door opened and closed. Uh, I, I said, if you opened the door come come out, you saw him to the uh, 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 ladder. Uh, it was right in front of the lock. Uh, okay. So, so uh, the lock tendered house was right in between the locks. The, the double lock, right. but the, it's on each side. Right. And so when the lock, when the boat used to come in, the lock the tender would uh, they'd signal him, and he'd uh, get ready and do the, the gate, uh -huh. or whatever you want to call it, right. the gate, I call it the gate. And uh, they used to sleep, and they had a coven there. And he didn't know that, but they, there was a coven there, and my brother told me, cause, but with the coven, they used it sort of like a bed, because uh, when the, uh, they, right near the window, and, uh, they close the coven down, the lid down, and stretch out a blanket or something, and sleep there, then they could always watch the boat. This was night watch, or even afternoons, I don't know. But uh, that's how, uh, well, that's how they built the thing now. Uh, did you remember anybody who worked in the last time? Oh, house? yes. Any, any names of anybody? Yeah, party? Mr. Banky. Banky? Mm-hmm. B-A-N-K-Y. I don't, I think he's gone now. Right, but he but was one of the lock tenders? He was the lock tender. Oh. And uh, he, and Mr. Sidman, he used to live down by, you know, uh, Sid, Sid? Sidman, his son was a doctor in Solly. Oh, okay. I think I know the name. Right. Yeah, well, he was a, uh, he was a lock tender at two. That was for the children, and, uh -huh. but, uh, uh, he lived in a little house before you get to where Cable lived, in okay. Erie's house. Um, there was a little house there, and um, then alongside of it was a barn and it was an orchard. And if you walk along this long barn, uh, you come to the end of the barn and you could turn left, and you'd come into a square, and it was where you could go get the water. The whole neighborhood used to go get water there. It was a, a fan, like a, a mill, mm -hmm. and uh, right then on the outside of that was a small cemetery, the Deer Cemetery. My mother remembers that. Yeah? Yeah, she uh -huh. told me stories about mm -hmm. that. Yeah? She says she remembers when they were removing the uh, graves. Yeah, when they, they were moved going to die. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. What year was that your mother? Uh, I have to think? ask her, because she, let's see, she was born in 1918. Mm -hmm. So if she remembers it. You're, she must remember it has to be. some of it, because it was, it was all, yeah. On the tail end of it, so yeah. to speak. But um, Jason was there some time. Yeah. And uh, of course, there were people before that. Uh, uh, Mrs. Deere, she used to be a teacher in Deere School. I'm going to Right, I know there, where that was. Uh -huh. She used to be a teacher. And uh, then Mr. Hopkins used to drive, uh, uh, drive her in a wagon to the school every day. Who, who was Mr. Mr. Hopkins? That would be her brother in law. Yeah, because, you know. Uh, I have something here uh -huh. that uh, Colonel James Gear oh, yeah, he was, was the owner of that the year. And he married a woman named Helen Hopkins That's from right. Amboy. So 
That's who it is. Okay. That would be her brother. I see. And he... Uh, she, uh, she died in 1913, the wife. The wife died in 1913. Right. Yeah. But uh, after they... Uh, the teacher used to come every summer at uh, vacation time, and she would stay there through the summer months. And then after that, uh, she moved. I don't know what happened for them. And uh, then um, Mr. Uh, this Mrs. Mrs. Baxter used to live there. And after Mrs. Baxter, the Ten Cases moved oh, there. And they sold it to Ally Chemical. And that was a tragic thing to do. It was. It was such a. Uh, the place itself was situated so pretty. Uh, a bridge was a long side of it, and uh, the. As you come in from Bell Isle Road, you come around the pond, you go up the, over the bridge, and in front of their house, and their house is extended kind of long. And we used to have, we used to put, they have these horses, they um, put the horses onto this uh, little post that they had, tied them up there. And uh, uh, and they had this nice, uh, uh, on the side there, on the, uh, the canal side, you could sit in front and watch the boats go by. It was just a, a nice lawn with a little walnut tree, big, big walnut tree. And uh, they had, uh, was it like a, a conservatory on one side? It was really a, quite a, a nice home. I was, and uh, I never was in it because my sister was in it. Can you describe the, uh, the bridge a little bit? That was oh, the there? bridge was similar to this picture right here. Where is it? Uh, but what, what I was told was a wooden bridge. Okay, it wasn't the kind that... The the, no, no, oh, okay. no, no, it was too much to the, the bridge. See, they had... So it had to be high enough so that when the boats the came boats under it... The boats come under it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, and then they had uh, the stone, this wall, these walls, you know, uh, made of stone on each right. side with raised it, and they had stairs on each side of the bridge. And, the, you know, and then underneath you walk, that's where the people would go by with the... Or horses or mules, they had to have a canal bank, see. Yeah. And right next to that bridge was um, a salt house, a salt barn. Oh. And they used to have the salt right there, that, and they had wagons, great big wagons you know, there that uh, they filled the salt mm -hmm. with it. And one day, uh, one uh, afternoon, it was, I remember, it was awful storm, and I'm get, definitely afraid of lightning in front of and the lightning struck our window in the bedroom and went right through our kitchen door. And it smashed our window in pieces. In the meantime, the storm was so big that the barge was in the canal, right alongside of the storehouse, coming towards Salve. And it sunk. It was the, uh, it sunk in the canal during the storm. These barges, I don't know how many there were, but they said all the barges sunk in the canal. And, uh, did they oh, they them? raised oh. it. Oh, sure. They had to keep going. Right. They raised it. In them days, I think about the canal wasn't so deep that. Um, so anyway, I know how deep the canal was because I was drowned in it oh, a couple really? times. Tell me about that. How well, they, they used to have a raft with four barrels, and they had like a platform out. Uh -huh. And we used to the boys used to take had these long sticks. We used to take us for a ride on it. Oh. You know. Uh -huh. and I, so in the one afternoon, my, my twin sister, she used to swim like a minnow. She just, me, I was a clod. I was doggy fashion, where she would stay. And uh, I was sitting, we were all sitting on the raft with my feet on the edge. And uh, this woman here, this, my twin sister, jumped in and pulled me up. <laughs> she saved me. My mother had a story like that. I don't remember if it was her or one of her sisters or her friend that had a drowning incident like that in the canal over there. Oh. But I don't remember mm -hmm. who exactly it was. Well, uh, then no, another time, I used to, I was learning how to swim. We used to have boards. And uh, I'd hold, hold on to the board and I'd kick. Mm -hmm. And I was just a little part the middle of the canal coming towards the shore. And they used to make me laugh. If I laughed, I let go of the board and I went down. Uh -huh. They were all laughing and my brother was me going down. He pulled me out. That's quite he pulled me out. That was a, an awful feeling too. It's an awful feeling drowning. 
Well, your sure. nose, it seems like everything hurts. Mm. Uh -huh. Did, did uh, you remember people fishing in the canal? Oh, yeah, they were fishing, and uh, there was a, a man, they used to call him Fat Leo, and he fell in the canal, and he was floating. He didn't drown. He was just floating down the canal. And uh, uh, there was a uh, some boy there, he drowned in the canal the winter time, just about when the snow was uh, rolling in the towards, going towards spring, like February, right. when the snow was, the ice was sort of soft and melt, and he fell through the canal. Oh. That was heartbreaking. This is after the canal stopped being oh, used. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. right. you know, people used to cross the canal. Right. We used to go across the canal, too, to the winter time. My brother used to, and uh, all the boys in the neighborhood used to go skating on the canal at night. And of course, and we were outside children. We were never in the house. I don't know how people could stay in the house when they were small, when you're small. But anyway, uh, my brother took, and we had a sled, and uh, put uh, Dutch Duda. His name was Louis Duda. He flew down the road. He'd take Aggie, my sister Agnes and I would be sitting on the uh, uh, sled, and he'd take a swing this way like that. Oh, and we used to love that, and they scaled quite a bit. Well, when we all, my sisters all got together, and we'd have a big meal, and so we'd say, oh, let's go out. We used to go skating towards the Ohio. Oh, really? I used to know how to skate, but I can't stand on them now. My that, ankle got to That's a long way to skate from, oh, uh, yeah. from, uh, from our house. Your house and your home in Bell Isle. Yeah. Quite sweet. And uh, <coughs> talk about the... Uh, uh, we going to Del Isle, and my sister had moved to our house, and she wanted a Christmas tree. She instead of going by the Christmas tree, them these Christmas trees were about 50 cents or quarter, I don't know which, but uh, we said, well, let's go for a uh, Christmas tree. So we took a little hatchet, my sister, she was married, and uh, uh, then my other sister, which, who was four of us, and we walked the canal bank, and we went to Aqueduct, where that is. Oh, the Aqueduct? Yeah. Yes. Where the canal and the water is underneath. In Amboy, in that area. And, and, yes, right. that's right. So we got way over there, we crossed the canal, we went and got our tree, put it on a sled, and my sister was holding the hatchet, and uh -huh. she was We thought she <coughs> was going to kill herself. Instead, she broke her arms. And it happened to be this man and this mother were in a, in a horse and buggy and they stopped and picked her up. Who would ever think there would be anybody in, in that lonesome place at the time, but it so happened they were going by and they took her to the, uh, brought her home and then my brother-in-law took her to the uh, doctor, Dr. Mulvey. He used to be on West End of the Sea. Oh, that happened near the aqueduct, right on the aqueduct? Uh-huh. On the canal, okay. the canal park. And then, then, then there's the water that goes right. nine miles away. Right. And we crossed over. The water was low some days, right. too. And uh, anyway, she says it cost $40 for her arm at, at that time. Dr. Mulvey he used uh -huh. to be a doctor uh, on uh, West Tennessee. Uh -huh. Wow. That's interesting. Do you remember any of the uh, deer? You mentioned the one that was a teacher. That, yeah. That's the only one in the family. That's the only one. Uh -huh. But right. I used to know Mr. Sidman. He was, he lived in, in their yard, so to speak. Uh -huh. See, their house was, uh, well, uh, here's how, uh, and here's the, the bridge. Okay. And on this side was Deer's house, long, right. the long house. Well, when you went, the, the long house here, the bridge, you'd come, right, and you'd go drive right here. Right here was, uh, instead of going this way, you can go towards the water. Okay. If you want to draw an idea about it. Let's see now. Well, uh, let me stop this for yeah. a minute because... Bill Isle Road. Yeah, Bill Isle Road. And then you would turn here. There's a bridge over, the, bridge. Uh, over the canal, right? Yeah, this is the bridge right here. Okay. Like that. Which would what be today where Horan Road is? That bridge? No. 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 Oh. This would be another. This would be the bridge going right next to the Deer's house. I see. Okay. And here's the house. This is the road. Right. Okay. I assume it was a dirt road too, probably. Well, yes, right. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. Right. And right here is the bridge, and here was the road. This would be the canal bank right here. Okay. Uh, it would be a, a sh it would be a, a dirt road. Right. That's on the. Uh, 
side where the towpath was? That's right. Right. Along okay. the towpath or, right. uh, or the snow thing. Right. Okay. And right here would be, this is the road. Now, right here is, uh, is what the mill is here. Uh, what kind well, of mill did you say that a was? Windmill. A windmill. Well, it would be for the water. Right. A water mill. Basically, we're going south of the canal yeah. at this point. Okay. Water. Well, right. Water, water powered mill. mill. Uh, I'm going to write water. Oh, that's mill. okay. Water. 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 Uh, yeah. Mill. And, and, there was and right here's the. Uh, here's for the. And uh, this would be the. However, you want to drop. And right alongside here is a barn. A barn? Yeah. This is a barn. Uh huh. And this barn would stretch out here, like okay. this. And this would be a sidewalk, a wooden sidewalk. Uh-huh. This is all on the gear property on you're the talking gear about? Top. Okay. And this right here. And this is the road. Now, this road here would go right into here, and this here is the road that would go... Along the canal. Towards uh, towards, uh, Hard Road. Oh, Hard Road. And then it would go up this way. Right. And so here, and then over here was a barn, another barn. This was a big barn. This right. was a long barn. What kind of barn was it? You know, well, I, I never was in it, but see, he had uh, he had horses that he used to ride. It was like a big estate. All our lane was this. Right. And um, this is a long barn, right into here. And right here would be a, a barn. It would be like a, <coughs> uh, how would you say, a where you enter. The, the doors are wide doors, like that. That was the barn. You can actually bring a carriage probably in there uh -huh. for those doors, right? Yeah, that, yeah. that would be probably like right. uh, uh, this barn would be for uh, stuff to, uh, to plow lanes oh, and okay. like that. So there was, uh -huh. And right here was the archer too. Okay. O R U C H. How did I write That's okay. A R D. That would be the archer because uh, my sister and I used to. We used to watch the kids don't take the apples. Oh. We took them all. Mr. Sidman. And here's where Mr. Sidman used to live. Right by the barn? Uh, see, this would be, yeah. The barn would be more like this instead of. Uh -huh. This is the house. And, uh, and then they'd go into the, over here into the barn. And right here would be um, uh, like a field first. This is the field. Between the house and and the canal. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, then this is the road on the road. Okay. But when did they actually, um, mm -hmm. uh, Haran Road, uh, was that there when you were a child? They Haran? had this road okay. uh, all the time. It was only a narrow, small road. Okay. And, uh, Cause the early a, maps don't show Haran Road. Uh, yeah, uh, that was, but that wasn't called Haran Road. It was just a road. That's all. Right. There was no name. You know, they named it after a man. Yeah, Mr. Yeah, he owned the, 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 he lived in the brick house there in Belial. Oh, okay. I used to, we used to go over there. Uh -huh. And uh, now this, and over here would be, uh, way over here would be Milton Avenue. Right, okay. And, and uh, you remember the uh, salt uh, oh, yeah. uh, baths? Yeah. I remember the salt yards, yeah, because salt yards? our house was practically on, built on in the salt yard. They cleaned that up. And uh, so this was, and then here's Harn Road, and right here would be, this is the canal. This is the canal right here. Mm -hmm. I hope you can get that right. But oh, anyway, yeah. uh, so here's Belle Isle Road right uh -huh. here. Parallel to the canal. Uh -huh. Right. There was a pond, you said? This is a pond. Right. And uh, that, uh, that pond would be. Right into this road here. Okay, so right by. Uh, right Haran. alongside of the here, because this is the canal bank. See, this is uh, this is the canal here, and that's the canal bank on that side. This is the canal right here, 
Okay, I remember that area where the path And then this snow. here is where the, right here at the storehouse, mm -hmm. this is the canal bank. Mm -hmm. And right here would be this road, would come down to here, this way, and then this road would con continue here, and then this road would come this way. That would be towards the store. This here, the canal bank. Okay, so the store was about in front of where Haran Road crosses the Just canal. Just a little way, right. Right here would be, and here's the store right here. And this is, would be the lock. And the house you live in now would be where the store was? No, no? across the road from there. Oh, okay. The I see now. See, where the tree is, our house would be over here. Are you are you the corner house? No, now? that's Bunjane. Ours is next to it. I see now. Uh -huh. And uh, so, so this is towards the store right here. Mm -hmm. okay. And this is the store, and this would be the, the lock. Right, okay. Thank you. And here would be uh, the left tender house. And here's the gate. Mm -hmm. You've crossed over. And the, I hope you can get this straight. <laughs> no, I, I can follow that. Yeah? I, I can picture in my mind what it, well, uh, the area looks like, too. See, the, the reason why I did, made the road here, when you went to the store, they used to drive with their horse and wagon from Bangor, and they followed the canal bank. Uh -huh. they, uh, besides, the, the, the boats going through, right. and uh, they uh, help the, uh, they pull the boats with the uh, mules or the right. horses. Mm -hmm. So they use this road, and it would come down this way, and then they'd come down this way. You could come from Dalai away I this see. way, and here. And this is the road that would enter Farnwood. Okay. I mean, but you couldn't cross over. It yeah. wasn't, uh... There was no bridge in No, there. you had to use this. This dirt road. Okay, so in other words, across, you had to go down by the gear house. You had to come down here. Nice. You could come from Salve here or from Bell Isle here. Okay. And you cross over this bridge here. Okay. And uh, you come in front of the house. This place is just a, like a, a little uh, uh -huh. place of phone. Were, mm -hmm. were there any other businesses around that area that you can remember? Uh, well, they, all, all they had. Uh, from the canal with yeah. the storehouses, right, okay. right alongside, all along the road were storehouses, and they had work on the salt. That's yeah. the main thing that was there. Right. Okay. And uh, as far as I, I can, then they had farm land. Mm -hmm. that the people would come to the store here, buy whatever they needed for their farm, mm -hmm. and uh, then they bring it here too. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. So can well, you have to Sure, yeah, I can follow that. Oh, I got some one. notes on this other side, though. I was gonna. Now you're going to have some different notes. I've got some notes here that. Well, go ahead. You tell me what you have. Well, I had. Uh, I've got here the people that lived in Deer's house. Okay. It was Mr. Deer and Mr. Hopkins. I mean, that was right. a relation. And then comes the Mrs. Uh, Becky Baxter. Mm -hmm. And then comes the Cazel, Hank Cazel, Stacey Woodman. Then they sold it to Ally. And Mr. Sidman was uh, living in the little red house that I showed you right. there. And then uh, uh, Ace, uh, they call him Ace Blue. He still lives in Sidman's house. Mm -hmm. And then after that, uh, Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Curdo lived in there. Mm -hmm. That's where, that was the last of that, that red house. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, let's see. No, I told, I just told you about them, Curtis. Frank and Mary Patron lived above the store, and uh, their children, Angelo and Georgie. Georgie drowned in the lock. Angelo is, was a lawyer in Syracuse. I had a, a teacher in school. Uh, that was Pia Shimadi. Right. That was his wife. Oh, okay. Yeah, we went to Sunday school together, but she go on and she went well. Then, uh, and then uh, when they moved down the city, like the brother helped him uh, find a place to live, mm -hmm. and uh, they moved on Township Street. Okay. And I don't know if, if they lived there right away, or the first place, or if they lived there till they died. And they lived. The father died, left him quite a bit of money, and he was a lawyer. And uh, he married Pia Shamadi. And they lived in, they lived in there, uh, though, but he died. Uh -huh. And uh, he had a brother. Georgie, 
and the judge drowned right in the lot. Oh, the the lot. Bunch, yeah, and he was only around two years old. So. How did that happen? Well, they found him missing. Oh. And they found him in the canal. And I remember when he, when they had the funeral, they had this little casket on their lap, and they rolled and hacked. You know what a hack is? It's a, uh, if you went to the fair, you'd see them. It was a, it was like, it's a buggy with a top and a clothes on the side like a coach. Oh, okay. And you can enter there. Uh -huh. And they had this one big funeral, that's why I remember it. Oh. And they came, just like I said, uh, from the store, they came on this canal bank here. Right here. Right. The, uh, from here, they drove here, they came down the stairs, then they went, went down on the aisle, on towards Sally. Towards Sally. Uh -huh. okay. It's uh, about oh, two, around okay. in, two years old. Well, what year would that have been? Well, that was, would have been about, uh, seven, you think, somewhere around between 1916 and 1916. Uh -huh. 15, 19, okay, 15, right around there. Wow. So, uh, around there. But I remember he was a very cute little boy, but he was only small. And I can just about remember all that. Oh, wow. And uh, then, 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 uh, I, I think the store burned around uh, my brother. It just came home from the service that night. I think it was 1920. Uh -huh. Somewhere around 1920. And then they had Japan. They filled up Japan. When did they do that? Well, about 1953, I think. <coughs> That's when we used to go skating. And uh, we learned how to skate there. And uh, it wasn't easy. I know, I think I know where you mean now. It's kind of fun to When know. I was a child, when you go over the canal and the rain road, just to your left, in yeah. the low area, That's low it. high area. That's right. To the canal road and the canal bank. Uh -huh. That would have been where the pond That's was. That's where the pond, on the left hand, okay. and you would turn that way and you'd go to the south. Okay. Right alongside. Yeah, okay. Right alongside the... Yep, yeah, I know. Uh, okay. And then, um, then they filled the canal in front of our house. My, uh, my nieces used to go uh, learn how to skate uh -huh. the road now with right. real well. And what else? And uh, Ozanoff, they were, you remember them? They're my mother's, well, Mrs. Ozanoff lived next to my mother's. Yeah, but died. before that, they lived across the canal, across uh, the aisle. Oh, I didn't know that, no. No, well, halfway from our place uh -huh. to the aisle, a little bit more than halfway, used to, they used to live where the canal kind of turned, you know, and uh, there was a brickyard there. And alongside the brickyard, uh, when we were children, we'd come home from school, but we'd go swimming over there. We'd change our clothes, change our clothes. I would come up with our dresses. We always had swimmer in them days, and that's how we swam. Swimmers were like uh, life preservers for us. And uh, the boys tied our dresses up when we were coming home from school. So we were just, that was before Uzanoff was there. And that used to be farmland there, uh -huh. too. And that uh, was really rich land. Uh, these people used to uh, always plant there every summer, every the summer and spring, uh, well, spring and summer. And uh, they were tag people by the name of Mr. Lepper. So they used to have nice uh, vegetables, everything. Mm -hmm. Well, I think just about it. Okay. Do you remember going to Del Isle uh, very well, much? I went to school the there all my yeah. life. Uh -huh. Why, well, sure. We, uh, in the morning, we could, uh, when we take. I got from uh, uh, the old Empire magazine, the Circus Herald America, of Belle Isle. The community, community of Belle Isle that was right around the canal. Mm -hmm. The canal goes right oh, through there. Uh -huh. Do you recognize any houses or anything? Oh, sure. This house here is Doyle's house. Okay. This house here is Spencer's house. All right. Now that looks like a dirt road there. And this road came right up here yeah. and it went up the hill. Okay. See, the bridge would be over here. See, there's okay. a road that goes this way. Right. Now, uh, this road here, uh -huh. uh, this is um, 
Spencer's house, and it'd go down here, uh -huh. and uh, that would go towards that school. Okay, now, can you tell, looking at this weather, which is that looking north toward Amboy? That would be looking, uh, like this, way. this way would be looking south. Looking, so I can't tell from looking this at This is now. looking south. You know where, uh, no, wait a minute. Well, yes. This is the. This is the turtle. Looks like. Yeah. See, here's what I was thinking. This is a map I have here, about 1875, from an old atlas, county mm -hmm. atlas. I'm thinking that this is, this is north, this is south on the map, mm -hmm. and looking at. See where this road is here, yeah. and where the canal is here. I'm thinking that's exactly like well, that. This side here is the towpath. Right. And here's the canal. Right. Well, you turn here. Yeah. You would turn south. north. North. Well, no. Th this is north here on the map. That's south. This is north. That's how the map is. Well, where, where's my the school? Oh, here's the school. You got right. That's right. There's the school. This is the school. All right. All this right. would be. North. North. And on uh, this picture, the school wouldn't show them. The school would be over here somewhere, I think. Oh, right? yay! You don't see it, though. It's too far. See how, how, how far up it is on the map? Uh-huh. Way up here. That's the, right. The you it's probably up here somewhere. Yeah. The school would be Way up here. on this right. side okay. here. So whose house is this large one here? Do you remember who lived there? Well, that's, uh, well, let me see now. Me? What map are you looking at? This is the line right Let's here. See. Can you read? It's kind of small, the names. But remember, this is 1875 and this is 1900. This is Monroe Farm. Okay. A Monroe Farm. Remember, this is 1875. Yeah. Though, and this is a picture of Well, here's the school. Monroe Farm was across from the school. Okay. Well, can I? Was, is there any, I got some paper here, maybe I could. See if I can. Oh, I have some more paper here. Okay. You... I'll give you an idea. My version. Then okay. you can figure it out. All right. Now, here's um, here's where, here's where we live. <laughs> okay. And right here is Bunjavang's house. How do you say that name? Bunjavang Castle lives there now. Okay. Here was the pond. Uh huh. And right here. This is the Isle Road. Uh -huh. I call it the Isle. And now, right here, you keep going, and of course there's houses here. Right, I remember that myself yeah. when I was yeah. young. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there's, like I said, right here would be Deer's house, the bridge. Uh-huh. And right here is the gear. Now, right here, I'm going to get all this other stuff. Okay. And I'll go right up here. Now, that part there, is, here's where we, now this is the, this is the, I told you, this Gear. is the bridge right here. Gear this is the bridge, canal. right. This is the canal. You need more paper. You need okay. All right. All right. Now, here's the canal. <coughs> now, here's another bridge. That was the Isle Bridge. Okay. That's probably right here on the map. Uh-huh. Now on this side would be the road going towards Fairmount, probably. Going towards Fairmount. Right, right here was Doyle's house. Okay. D O Y L E. Now I don't know who lived there at before that, but I'll just write Doyle's house. There used to be a nursery, uh, uh, nursing home there too. I think later years. Oh, that uh, that was the Horn Road. The Nizer. Oh, that's Horn Road. That's Mr. Horn's house. Oh, okay. That would be on the top of the hill. Okay. Right here is Horn's house. All right. Okay. And right here, now, you come down here, uh -huh. and right here would be um, was this road, this bridge, and right here is Toro, T-O-U-R-O, Toro's okay. house. 
And right here, this is the road, would be Packer's house. Okay. Right here. And right here would be uh, uh, Ned Radford's house. Ned Radford. Now this is a road. And on this side here would be a house, would be uh, uh, Ned Radford lived here. Mm -hmm. I mean, in my day. Right. Uh, we're talking around the 1920s or yeah. before that even. Right? Mm -hmm. right. But the canal was still being used That's in that right. area? Yeah. And now this is, and right here, this is the bridge, and this is the canal right here. Uh -huh. now. <coughs> and right here was a, uh, the, was a hotel. Oh. That would be, uh, hotel. Well, here, um, here it's got the symbol for a hotel, so you were right. Mm -hmm. It has the name of an Armstrong family next well, to it, according to this. Do you remember anyone with that name? Or? Armstrong? Uh, no, I don't oh, remember. Okay. That was before my time. Okay. This is, this is the, right here, right on the canal bank. All uh, right. Who owned the hotel then? Do you remember? Uh, uh, the last time, uh, uh, Radford were the last ones owning it. Rankin Hotel, but uh, George, George's Hotel. We call it George. Oh. G. Gus George. G O R. G how do you spell George? G E O R G. G O R G. Well, you have a good memory. <laughs> uh, Gus George. I write down Gus yeah. George. And family. And family. Because they had uh, quite a bit of people. Uh -huh. uh, Tootie Clark, I just think, was her grandfather. You see it there. Now, now this is the now you come down here and here, and right here they said was a tobacco uh, factory. Oh. Uh-huh. I don't know how long it was, but before my time. Uh -huh. And right here, uh, after that would be Rafford's um, Brown House. Brown House. Right here is Spencer's house. That would be, you're going up a hill. I see. You're going, this is a hill, going up. Of course, that now is the area that's all the waste beds, right? Yeah. And, okay. Now this is, you turn over here. You turn in here, and this is Spencer, Spencer's house. Besides that, that you know the uh, Niger they used to run right. here. His people, his uh, uh, grandfather was in this house. Besides that hotel, were there any other businesses in that? No. But you had the factory. You said there. The, 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 this was the uh, tobacco right, factory. Right. That was before my time. Okay. The hotel. Any no. other businesses in that area? No. Now, uh, here is where you go on. Okay. And, okay. After that. It's a schoolhouse. Okay, you're talking going north now. This is where? Uh, oh, I am here. Once you live here, that she was a Radford girl. Okay. Flint, and here's the school. But this was built afterwards. After this is the second school. Oh. because the other first one burnt down. Do you remember uh, going back to that hotel, because that was right on yeah. the uh, canal. Do you remember yeah. what it looked like? Oh, idea? yeah, I was in it. I danced yeah. there. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it was uh, just a, a ally chemical bar. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, I don't oh, no. it was a cancer. I always said it, and I always will. But that hotel wasn't being used yeah. when you were a child? Oh, yeah. We used to go upstairs and dance. Oh. And uh, they used to have a store. Uh -huh. of, it wasn't uh, the people, uh, the, the families just lived there. It wasn't the hotel afterwards. 
I mean, it was a hotel before. They had, they had a restaurant there too? Well, I don't know what they oh. did. That, that was during, they, uh, was before uh, World War I. Right. That, but I know that they, the whole family was there during World War I, and they used to have a store. Uh -huh. We used to go to the store there. From school, we'd go to the store. The Did they use that store when the canal was still in use, too? Oh, yeah, because they had a right. the hotel. People must have stopped right. at the, the boat to stop right. over there. And, mm -hmm. they, and here's our school. And right here was the uh, uh, Mike Radford's house. What was his last name? Mike Radford. Radford, okay. Radford's were... Now, the twins, this was... Uh, she was uh, Nellie Radford. Uh -huh. She married... Uh, And then, but this was her marriage age. This was before she was married. Oh. See? So I was, I was little Flint, uh -huh. Carl, Carl Flint and Nellie. But her oh. name was Nellie, oh. and her brother, Mike, was living here. Okay. And right here uh, would, be le uh, would be a store, Leopard's store. Mm -hmm. Store, and then there would be uh, what kind of store was that? I used to go for candy. Oh, so it's like a general store. It was store. a little store. It was a little store. That, that's on the road that parallel right. the canal, right but not no, uh, no, no, no. This, this is uh, the oh, road. going north. The going north. Okay. From uh, this is all I have. So actually, it's going north toward an area they used to call Belle Isle Station, for the where the railroad was. Yeah, crossed. that's right. So okay. Uh, like yep, uh, North Isle. Yeah, because on this map here. You got North Isle. Well, there? see where the where the Where's crick. The railroad, see yeah. where the nine mile crick crosses yeah. the road and the railroad is. Yeah, and right here. They call that nine mile nine station. Mile. I'm, I'm sorry, Bell Isle station. Yeah. As opposed to mm -hmm. Bell Isle itself. Yeah, where'd Bell you get here. this map? From an old atlas. I'm going to give you this. Oh, wonderful! Oh, well, I appreciate sure. it. A leopard store, and then there was a, a house there, Eckers, and then, then there was a. Um, Eckert, oh, and this one here was, I think, <coughs> Johnson. Well, what a memory you have. And over here was the uh, yeah. Hackleman. And uh, it was a, a twin house. Uh -huh. It was a twin house. I call it twin house. I, I forgot who lived on this other side. But, but, and then right here, you, it's going, this is going towards the, towards the Right, okay, you get, your memory's very good. Uh, uh, that would be uh, towards Ambrose. Why are you here on the left? Uh-huh, and the Ambrose Air Force. Right. On this map, it has a name Macon, M-A-C-H-A-N. Does that mean something? Macon. They own a lot of land here, apparently. Yeah, that's my sister-in-law would know about it. And, um, and over here would be Mills. Is there a Pangburn there? What is it? Pangburn. Pangburn? P-A-N-G-B-O-R-N. No. Of course, now we're talking. The map is oh, 1875. Oh, 1875. You're talking about yeah. late teens, yeah. 20s, so mm -hmm. there's a lot of changes in those years, I'm sure. You remember Amboy itself? Yeah, well? uh -huh. I remember Amboy. You know, my brother-in-law used to come courting my sister. Uh -huh. Now, this was, uh, she, they were married in 1915. And um, so my brother and my twin sister and I, four of us, went into this place with a, uh, it looked like a buggy with a cover on, and we came to this here part of the Amboy Road. And we, oh, a lot of snow, and it tipped over. Oh. We had a white horse, and it tipped over. Oh. So all they just picked us out of the snow, put us back in, oh. and we came back. And it wasn't scary or anything. We enjoyed it. We loved that ride. And uh, now this here, would be the, uh, this was all the farmland here. Uh -huh. Like, uh, they used to have, uh, We're talking about the east side of, uh, on, a, uh, on the road to 
between Belle Isle and Belle Isle Station now. Yeah, right. Well, this is Which the, is the, the road from, yeah, okay. this is across from the school. Right. All okay. this is there, and, uh, right here. Uh -huh. And uh, these people are all the See, if you put that together... On the north side of the canal. Uh -huh. right. If uh, you put that together, you put this one here, right, I see. put this end here, two uh -huh. connected here, okay. right, this here, and this, okay. you connect it. And there's no home done this side. It's all, all right. just kind of like, like corn. Right. And then they had the woods over here. They had woods over here, like a gully. Uh -huh. You could skip through and go to the woods oh. over here. Uh, just a, a row of trees. Oh, oh, one tree, just like a gull would there. But I don't know what to have, but then over here was the wood. Uh -huh. and, uh, and then here's where the trenches live. Is that where the airport was? The there? airport was over here. Oh, okay. The ambulance, right. where you turn to go right. to the airport. And this is PTI, O-P-T-I. Used to house right here. And this is the road, and this road here would be parallel with the style road, right. but right here would be the, our road that we used to walk on. That, that this part here, yeah, you know, okay. See, that would be left side of the canal. I see. And this right here would be the, uh, right in through here would be, you had this long road to go to their house. And this is so this would be that's the canal line running like this. Yeah. Okay. Alongside. So I yeah. hope you understand. Yeah. Let me just draw. So I remember this is north. Going this way. That's right. Direction. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, that's pretty detailed. Now, now, how about doing the same thing with that side? The other side. Turn it over. What? Here? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Now I'll tell, I'll tell you which uh, way. The school was part of the north. I see. Okay. I know now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, and that, that road going there is the west. Right. This side here is the west. Okay. And this is south. Oh, yeah. I can figure that out. Okay. okay. Now, do you remember uh, uh, the Amboy area? There used to be a store. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Sim store. The Sim store. That's the one that they made. Right. The replica of what we're doing. Yeah. Well, place. I don't remember. Uh, they had that store. But, um, uh, uh, right in the heart of Amboy, there were two stores, Meyer's store and Painting store. That was way after 1875. Oh, okay. All right. Because we worked in the paper mill. My sister and I worked ah. in the paper mill. And that was along Nine Mile Creek. Right. And, and there's, you're going towards Warren. You right. cross the bridge over there. On the right-hand side is the paper mill. used to be a paper <coughs> mill. I don't uh -huh. know what they do now. And uh, we used to walk all the uh -huh. way from our house over there every morning. For ten dollars and eighty cents a week. Really? Six days a week. Wow. And them they 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 really mad at the place. Was the sim store there when you were a child? Oh, they, they, it was there then. Yeah. But then Father Patrick came over oh. and yeah. changed everything. Right. They took our road. We had a we could go from the from our road straight into Amboy, and they took that and filled it up. Uh -huh. they, it's really a thing. It was terrible. It's terrible. And for the money that they made, the peanuts, they, they should rebuild all of poverty with the money that they made. hundred really? years, over hundred years. They destroyed a lot, they destroyed a lot of history. All that smoke and all that dust. And then after they moved the Tesco by in front of our house, they're ruining our house. You know that bridge that goes over the street? Well, that bridge is okay there. Who's going to fix it? You want to tell me? No, we do. Yeah, who's going to fix that one now? And, and those trucks, you know, uh, they're double wheelers. You know, big, big, big ones. Is there any, anything else? Well, let's see now. Uh, well, I was just telling you about how. Uh -huh. And, uh, oh, one night we were down at the show. This is, uh, we used to have some uh, circus here in town and, uh, on, uh, Big Street. Uh huh. Well, the lights. We didn't have lights on our road, so it was pitch dark. So the lights would hit the canal. We used to walk home on the canal bank. It was this particular night. We went to see a show down the city, a cute show. And uh, there were 12 of the girls walking down. Well, we got halfway from Salve coming home, 
and he sees it rippling loudly in the canal. Oh, watch it. Watch it, and there was a head right in the middle of the canal. You know what it was? This man was swimming at the, well, of course, midnight. He was swimming in the canal, and he was just making the water ripple like that. Look from, from the surface. And you should see us run.
picture that for a few weeks. Okay. And this picture here is the, I don't know if you can see it. My nephew used to go to uh, uh, the muskrats, or what do you call them things? Uh, you go to the mine and, and uh, put fat, fat things. Yeah. yeah. Well, so this is the canal right here. Well, I'll take this this way. Here's the canal, here's the boat, and way over here, I had a, I made a little, uh, there's a creek, you know that uh, creek right. over there? Yeah, I made, creek. Mm -hmm. yeah. I made that, and I put a little log over the creek, oh. and used to have a black dog. Uh -huh. He was a, a Labrador, and he'd always be with my, uh, with his baby. And uh, so I put this little boy on this piece of log, and the little dog behind it, the rabbit in front of it, so that they were going trapping. Do you know about the culvert that's over there? Yeah. That's a the now from the... That, that's where the creek goes underneath the... Oh, uh, no, that's another one. Right. But there's the other one, and the water, uh, this one was a, there's a pit back here. Right. See, right here used to be a trough. Right by the lock, and mm -hmm. on the, uh, on the south side of the lock. Okay. On the south side right. of the lock, from the east uh, coming right. in. Right. And uh, right here, and right there was, was a, you could see, maybe you've been there. I've been there. That's I've been there. That's where the used to go in. Right. It's another closet would be further down. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So I got, yeah, I'm, well, that's what I mean, my Christmas tree right here. Oh, see? the tree. Mm -hmm. oh. See, this is what, then here's what, I couldn't get the locks uh -huh. in there, so that's how I made it, so it's similar to the area Very now. Nice tree. You, were you going to tell me something about the, this picture? Well, they used to, this picture is for, I, I remember when my, uh, I don't remember in the city time, but I do remember in the, near the lock, just below the lock. What did they do? They used to drain the water uh -huh. and clean it all up. Okay. Now, if they widened it, I don't know what they did. In those days, I did. But I remember this was all empty, and they used to clean it. You watched them clean it? Oh, well, we used to. Uh, we're all right. We're never in the house. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we were there, we were watching them. Well, how long would it take them to do that? Oh, I don't, they that I don't remember. I don't think it was too long because they had to use the canal. Well, uh, this picture here, I've seen this one before, mm -hmm. of a, uh, a rescue mission mm -hmm. boat that was from well, the city hall. Like, there are different kinds of special boats that would yeah. sometimes use the canal, mm -hmm. like, for uh, bringing uh, people to uh, right, are they cargo boats. And yeah, you and remember different tugboat. kinds of boats? You they had the tugboats too. Tugboats? Uh-huh. And the barges. Bar they were told the barges. Yeah, the barges would be one after another. Uh -huh. Like you see in those on the bubbly. Okay, one well, tied up. All tied up, okay. yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Probably when you were young, they were using it mostly for oh, cargo at that yeah, point, right? People that's really right. were traveling like uh, that. Oh, they traveled, because I used to see them sitting on top of the boat. Oh, you mean on, on, the, on the barges? On, no, no, on the passenger boat. Oh, on the barges, yeah. I don't know. They had everything. Well, I was thinking that people were using the railroad for it, and when the cars came into use, they were driving. Well, so they, they were, yeah, but yeah. the railroad, um, I mean, this was cheaper, too. They right. didn't have much money. So I imagine they used the boat as long as possible, so they could afford to go around the railroad. Right. Well, I think that's what they did. Well, Oh, really? Yeah, oh. the older one. 
This is the, the, the family you mentioned. Their name was? Rhonda. How do you know how to spell that? L-A-N-G-E. Okay. That's how, they, uh, that's right. how I learned how to spell it. And uh, of course, they were uh, doctors. Like oh, really? Also, I noticed that uh, when reading about the canal, people used to dump a lot of their garbage their own, oh, own yeah. Do you remember people doing things like that? Well, when they were, yeah. uh, when they were, um, the town was down already, and uh, they were dumping, the people would come away from the east now and mm -hmm. dump their stuff right along, uh, 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 the farm road, yeah. uh, the cross road, yeah. and we used to complain because this, uh, the snow was all night. Oh. And uh, so we, so probably Catholics had a good answer. Uh, I, I don't know who uh, uh, made it so that they still up here now. Okay. Now I'll give you these. You want to show me some more pictures of the books there, maybe? Well, you can look at them. Okay. These are for you to see. Oh, see, that's okay. wonderful. I appreciate it. Okay. Wow. Uh, do you have any pictures of the table? Yeah, I'll show you some more. Oh, the books, the books, the I don't remember anything about that. Oh, look. Uh, at the fair, it was loaded with all those things. Really? Yeah. Cool. Uh, all kinds of magazines. They had quite a few. I mean, not all kinds, but they had quite a bit of magazines. In fact, uh, the year before, there was a uh, main, uh, well, must be, they were in together, the two uh -huh. um, They used to have this uh, uh, showing on television all about the canal. Uh -huh. And uh, they were from Newark. Oh, I know where Newark is. Yeah, I've been there. Oh, yeah. they, they had all the showings there. Oh, on really? the, there. That's how I was talking about the canal. There it is. That, isn't this lot number 50? Mm-hmm. Isn't that the year Yes, it's right here. That's it. Yeah. Belden. Name of Belden. J.J. Belden, the name of the boat. Mm-hmm. Okay, does that... You can barely see the top of this house here. Is that look familiar? Can you tell me? I bet that was the house upstairs. That yellow house that I was telling is owned by Cochrane and Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, it's very seldom I see a photograph of the gear lot. Mm -hmm. This is like a poster they tied the book. Yeah, that's uh, right, like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, that's interesting. There. There's Sim's store. There's Sim's store. Mm -hmm. See, in, yeah, they heard us. The They've got a spell wrong. Yeah. I, I know. Yeah, right. yeah. okay. uh, and I was to uh, Dayton, Ohio. Oh. I went to uh, the canal there. Oh, you did? And oh, they the Ohio canal. Uh -huh. They had Ohio area. Right. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and of course, it's only, it's a now. Is it really? Here? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You were saying? Yeah. Here's Sims Store. What's the heel page? That's the opposite side of the uh, towpath. In other words, you have the towpath, then you have the canal, and then on the other side is what's called the heel path. That was a clean. What size was the towpath? Well, it looked like it, but one, uh -huh. only one side was used by the horses and the mules. Oh, yeah. The yes. other side was maybe where the uh, people would run on to oh, repair, 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 repair. Sometimes some animals would. would underneath the cars, the banks will uh, give way, so they have to repair it. They run around. Oh, I see. And then there, on Sunday, all the women stop to go walking on the canal. They had to go around the corner and get their clothes and go to the back and get their things. Oh, really? Yeah, they had to wear their long dark skirts and their hair pulled up like that. I remember, they take that picture. I imagine everybody in South was there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they had to take pictures of my sister and I, because we were the only prisoners in our section. And uh, everybody was taking pictures, and we were so tired. Now you stand this way, now you stand this way. We used to skip sometimes. We saw anybody uh -huh. on the ground, yeah, we skipped home. Because we didn't want our pictures taken so many times. But Why do you think they were taking the pictures? Because we're twins. Oh, I see, okay. We're the only twins in our, in the, our in, I guess, in the hobby. Wow. Uh, it was unusual to have uh -huh. Here's uh, this word, slumming post. Post the long canal for a use and tie up canal boat. Maybe yeah. that's what you were thinking. Yeah, they were just tied. They were round yeah. like that. Uh -huh. And they'd have this rope tied around. And then he'd shovel all this stuff. And you know, you dig in the canal there. Uh, every once in a while, I saw the dog right, a shoe. Oh, really? That tie, like that. <laughs> uh, I still have it. Yes. 
I said, gee, it's unusual. Imagine if I'd got more along the canal bank there where they used to dump everything. I'd probably find more. I was going to say, when you were small, maybe you found things. Yeah, like and then, uh, uh, you know where the world tree is. Yeah. Well, now we have got to go back to where we put it down. Well, they used to clean the canal. When they cleaned the canal, they put all that stuff right. Well, the, the straw was here, uh -huh. and the straw aisle row here, and right here they had a little driveway to go up to the canal bank, and the little tree would be here. So from the canal, they dug everything here under the little tree. Oh. And all the neighbors, all of them, would go over there and they'll find pennies and things oh, really? like that. Oh, this is when they were cleaning out the, the canal. Yeah, and there's a lot. Oh, the people okay. would go across the gate. Yeah. And top of the hand of the yeah. property would fall off. Oh. And, uh, to find money there in the library. Oh, wow. <laughs> how often were they doing this, like cleaning up? Well, stuff? I don't know how often they did. Oh, we got a few more minutes left. I don't know how often they did, but uh, uh -huh. I know that we did it. And uh, then my brother put a, a little thing up there in the window. We went to the fair one time with your children, and he put a post under the willow tree, and he put a, a bird and made a, a uh, like a teeter totter, only you circle it. Oh. Well, I fell off on it, and I saw one big star. I don't remember if uh -huh. I saw it or what, but it was one big star. Uh -huh. You could spin it around. Uh -huh. that's oh, that's interesting. Neat. You know, in our days, we didn't have all the uh, bicycles and all to play with. They so didn't we have had to make up our yeah. own. Here, I think they have a picture of a lock. Here you go. Yeah, like a lock. that's Here. it. Mm -hmm. Does that look anything like you remember? Well, yeah. the store house would be. Uh, it would be more like this, see how it's yeah. this one. And they had the door here where the door right. would be for the, the lock itself would come out. Because after, you didn't have too much room to walk yeah. between, between that. It's like an island. This is your part. It's just like an island. There it is. Did they fl fly the flag at the lock? I don't itself? remember the flying. But this is it, right here. See, here's the, here's the gate. See the gate? You walk on the right. gate and back to this uh, bar oh, here. Yeah. And you come over this gate and then you cross over and they have these projections here. See how it is? And the boat could go this way or this way. And here's this other one, uh -huh. other gate. And right here is where all they clean it because oh, okay. it's on the side. And this is a rock. This would be similar to it. And then there'd be a rock. There's, a, there's one of them. Right. And then they had a rocking bridge. Uh -huh over here on this side where this would be her our uh house right. and our house would be here see that's one that's different they have the number on the lock house too you remember no i think there was a number yeah. i'm not sure but i think it was and they had these walking bridges uh, it's a white one and you climb up the stairs and right near this yeah. near the gate here would be a bridge here and then you cross over and be another one right oh. here and you could cross over and they had lights over here, uh -huh. too. I remember the lights. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes looking at these old books can uh -huh. help I would never memory. Find that in there's, a, there's an aqueduct mm -hmm. there. Yeah. I do remember That's before. Right. I, would, I oh. never dreamed I'd find that in the... Oh, I, I got this in Alexandria, uh, Virginia. Oh, really? And Harper's Ferry, they had another book. But it, it, yeah, they put the, the right on the wall, but they don't do that. Anymore. No. Here's what I mean about the way the bridges were made, or here's bridge. See, he saw, and right here was the stairs. Oh, I see. And then the bridge would be right over it. Oh, and there's these stairs on this side. The cross from there would be the same thing. I don't imagine the wood gates mm -hmm. and uh, the beams were lasting too much longer after the canal was oh, abandoned, yeah. were they? That's probably right. Yeah. Well, although there's still some wood in that, but the canal there that is it? the easy side. Oh, he, yeah. yeah. But, and even, even the, uh, uh -huh. across the aqueduct, yeah. I noticed all the wood. Oh, yeah, gone. yeah. They have to replace yeah. it every so often. Well, I think that's about, about it, then. I think I think covered so. a lot of information. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Well, you're yeah. welcome.